Hi there, everyone. Let's dive into something important that's happening right now in real estate. Recently, there's been a lawsuit involving NAR and some home sellers in Missouri. These sellers were not happy with some standard practices of real estate brokers, so they took legal action to push for some major changes. Now, NAR has responded with new rules to try to address these concerns. First off, they're ensuring that people still have the option to work with real estate professionals for both buying and selling homes. However, if the courts accept NAR settlements, two things will be different as soon as late July of this year. First off, compensation amounts for the realtors will no longer be displayed on major online listing sites. This move aims to level the playing field and create a fair market type of environment for everyone. Imagine that you and your neighbor are both selling your house. You're offering a 3% commission to the buyer's agent and your neighbor is offering a 2% commission to that agent that brings the buyer. What home would you assume what likely to get more showings and sell faster, the one with the higher commission or the lower commission. See, as of today, the commission amounts are displayed for all agents to see. That will no longer be the case if the courts accept NAR settlements. Secondly is compensation amount. This subject is the meat and potatoes of the lawsuit against NAR. Home sellers from the coast of Maine to the beaches of California have assumed that all realtors charge 6% and that that amount is non-negotiable. Truth is, commissions have always been negotiable, but as an industry, since the 1990s, the standard of practice for the vast majority of realtors is they charge 6% commission to the home seller. And that 6% is usually equally shared between the listing and the buyer's agent. Home sellers may decide they don't want to pay for the buyer's agent's commission anymore and allow their listing agent to charge them just 3% to sell their house. This might shift, you know, the payment of the buyer's agent services, you know, also known as their commission to the buyers themselves. Home sellers, buyers and real estate agents will have to navigate when selling or buying a home starting in as early as late July of this year.